Today we're discussing the folder browser dialog and it's very similar to the open file dialog but it deals with folders rather than files and just as with the open file dialog you want to make sure the user selected a folder before you try and do anything so we'll discuss the OK return value from the uh, show dialog to determine the user did select something. Then we want to look at the selected path property and we'll discuss the root folder property but I'd recommend you don't use it because for one thing I can't figure out how to use it. And then the description property. There is something that works just like you'd expect the root folder to work which is ironically the selected path again. So you just selected path before and a selected path after in effect. But it'll become clearer when we look at the actual code. I'm using a form with a button and a label. And right now the label just says selected folder. But when we press the selected folder button, what this label will say is what the folder was that was selected. So the name of the selected uh, folder label is LBL selected folder and the name of the selected button is BTN selected folder. So if we double click on the selected folder we get into the event hold handler for the click event of the selected folder button. And The first thing we want to do is instantiate a, uh, a folder browser dialog. So I just start typing and immediately the first thing I got with an F was folder browser dialog. So I press space and then I say FBD for the object name of the folder browser dialog. And then equals and new and folder browser dialog. I'll just create, put in two parents the standard instantiation of a class into an object. And then we want to have an if statement and then the fbd dot show dialog and equal equal to recheck the return value of uh, of show dialog. So that's pretty much already selected. I just need to press a dot and then select OK and I can just do enter to do that and then close the if and then put a body of the if and so we know if we fall into this body of the if that the user pressed the OK button and has indeed selected a folder and the way you get the folder is uh, I'll say the label selected folder dot text equals and then what we want is the FBD property uh, selected path and this if we uh, save this and run it then if I click selected folder it'll put me into a browser that just looks at folders it doesn't look at files so if I go into uh, say computer and then Sarah and uh, webcam and class select class and then click OK see the selected folder I get is C colon backslash webcam backslash class and if you're using uh, uh, folder browser dialog probably you want to look at a specific area to begin with and you would think there's a property called uh, root folder and you would think this is what you'd, you'd set in order to have the, the initial folder you want to work with but you can't put it com set it equal to a string you'll just get an error the only thing it seems to let you set it equal to is this environment special folder and then you get an error with that too <laughs> so I just basically recommend not using root folder at all 
instead what you can use is uh, the same thing you got back FDB uh, selected path and set that equal to uh, in the example we just used if you used an at sign you can put in special characters to the string and it, it won't give you an error C colon backslash that's an example of a special character webcam backslash class and then this will initially start at the place what we uh, went down to before so if I do select folder see you have to scroll down because it's way down there but you see class is initially selected so I could expand class out and go down and expand programs out and select JavaScript and then say OK and it returns uh, that folder which saves some time if you only want the user to look in that, that directory like webcam class and the last useful thing I want to talk about is description so if you go fbd dot description oh, I'm surprised I didn't oh I misspelled it no wonder fbd dot description and you can set that equal to some useful description of what you want them to select the folder for like select uh, webcam class folder and then if we compile or save and compile and run this and we do a select folder notice when it pops up it'll say select webcam class folder it's a little hard to see you can uh, magnify it here but it's a description that might be helpful depending on what they're browsing a folder for well I hope you uh, enjoyed this uh, tutorial and learned a lot and don't forget to subscribe